a very warm welcome our guest speaker dr arun arora our campus director ma'am a very warm welcome today we have gathered for a beautiful session with mr arun arora on the topic lean startup and minimum viable product and business boost camp it is my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker mr arun arora he is a having vast industrial experience of 32 years in manufacturing operations especially in tractors manufacturing like escort limited mahindra and mahindra and sonalika currently he is heading export assembly operations at international tractors limited punjab it has been in the, is instrumental in transforming business operations as profit center by the application of business process reengineering lean strategies inculcating innovative culture and developing human skills he is also a guest faculty role at bits pilani wilp course for assist, assisting mtech students on various manufacturing related subjects like lean manufacturing six sigma manufacturing strategy supply chain management etc with this i invite our guest speaker to start the session thank you so much sir so today i'm going to uh, throwing a insight on lean startup and uh, minimum viable product so uh, this is a, a you know a, a sense to understand why some of the companies explore opportunities uh, that work out well and others do not so i think uh, the basic you know uh, behind uh, uh, all these things because entrepreneur what what they think actually what are the opportunities they are coming right so they are grabbing the opportunities and they are performing well others do not uh, perform well because uh, they are not you know uh, transforming uh, the willing opportunities into uh, outcomes so not letting those opportunity pass is the essence of entrepreneurship so entrepreneurship basically is a capacity to act as an opportunity that over innovation and discovery is created so important part is that we should uh, the as a entrepreneur some of the companies those who are exploring the opportunities those who are grabbing the opportunities they are they are able to perform well in the uh, marketplace when we talk about the you know lean startup basically uh, any organization or any entrepreneurship when they are going to start their businesses the important thing is that uh, the business should be profitable right with minimum investment and optimum utilization of resources that is the essence of uh, you know any business so how to drive a startup how to steer that startup how to convert uh, that startup into a profitable agency and when to preserve and grow a business with a maximum acceleration is basically a lean startup whenever we start a business right so there are certain obstacles and we find a solution so i have just pasted one of the picture see any business uh, entity right they should start their business with some you know concrete plan right so if the plan is not complete uh, there will be hurdle to uh, for the startup businesses secondly it is very very important to see that what are the market demand what our customer wants right and we should you know deliver or design our business uh, model in such a way that our product should be able to meet the market demand so if any of the organization or startup businesses if they are not testing what actually market is demanding about the product and services uh, then entrepreneurship entrepreneur will not be able to start up in a good in a good way and third important obstacle is the adequate funding so important aspect in order to you know overcome these obstacle important thing is that uh, we should build or refine a minimum viable product so i will cover up this part minimum viable product what is that and second is that we should measure the customer reaction what actually customer is looking for what is the need of the customer what customer want and secondly is to you know visualize what customer will think in future 
uh, what customer will you know visualize it is it is important to visualize that customer would be looking uh, you know after 10 years 15 years when we are thinking to our business so that that you know visionary things also need to uh, incorporate in the business plan uh, in order to be successful in the business and third important aspect is we should learn right and we should innovate when we are developing the customer base so it is very very important so whole of the you know today's uh, lecture will be based upon all these things uh, how uh, we can provide a solution and i will cover a few of the examples many of the businesses they have you know started their uh, business and they are successful because they adopted all these uh, things into their business model so what is the lean startup methodology so this um, uh, methodology this uh, concept lean startup this was given by eric rice in 2008 right so any uh, of the product right when we are developing a product when we are introducing a product to the market, there is a product life cycle. So important part is that uh, a lean startup is a method of developing business and product that can shorten the product development cycle by adopting a combination of business hypothesis driven experimentation. It is very, very important that whenever we are introducing any product, right? So we should we should do a combination of hypothesis. We should do some experiments. We should uh, do iterative product releases. Well, we should learn uh, and unlearn and then we should validate the learning so that we should be able to meet customer needs. So it is important uh, aspect here that any of the product which we are product or services when we are developing, it should meet the early need of the customer and reduce the market risk by avoiding spending money where outcome is uncertain. So because you know with, uh, in today's scenario in a competitive environment, or maybe all information technology which are available to the customer uh, because of this information era it is very very important that customer needs are continuously changing so we need to change our you know product and services that, that is to meet the customer demand and market is very uncertain because market is boiling like that uh, two days when we are deducing a product next time uh, it now uh, demand certain other features so uh, you know staying at the one level it will not serve the purpose so important aspect for any uh, lean startup is that we should do you know uh, hypothesis driven experimentation in the market understanding the need of the customer validating learning and then all these learning that is to be incorporated in the uh, product development so this is the essence of uh, this lean startup methodology now let me see there are certain myths about the lean startup first myth i say people understand that lean is cheap so lean startup try to spend as little as money as possible as the name indicated is lean just like patala it is not like a patala it is just truth is that lean startup method is not about the cost it is about the speed how how fast we can deliver the product how fast we can meet the customer demand how fast uh, our product will be reliable in the market how fast we can uh, deliver the product as per the customer demand so competition is too much and in order to remain uh, competitive in the marketplace it is very very important the aspect is that we should uh, we should you know uh, enhance the speed part at at how much early as possible we can deliver our product and services based upon the customer demand so this is the first myth and truth is that we need to increase the speed to deliver the product. Second myth is that it work, it would not work for my business. It is only for technology or web companies. Absolutely, it is wrong. The truth is that any company, regardless of the industry, they can use this startup methodology to reduce uncertainty and what your customer really want. So important is that we should understand the customer want and need, and we should reduce the uncertainty this methodology can be used in any industry, in any business entity. Third myth is that it only works for small or bootstrap companies. Absolutely, startup in Mahindra and Mahindra. We have implemented this. Is this comes under Fortune 500 companies? So I have experienced that lean startup methodology. Uh, we have implemented in Mahindra and Mahindra very successfully. So business growth, nothing like that. Uh, we, have, we will be able to reduce costs. We will be able to reduce wastages in the system. 
we'll be able to meet the customer demand uh, uh, as early as possible. We'll be able to reduce inventory uh, carrying cost. So I have experienced a lot of, uh, you know, uh, the benefits we got after implementing the lean startups in, in companies like Mandra and Mandra. Uh, so lean method, uh, startup method can be used in any of the industries or maybe it is, uh, it is a capital incentive large uh, scale project is also. So these are the three myths we should understand that uh, what is the truth about uh, these aspects. So now I will cover up the principle of the lean startup. You know, entrepreneurs are everywhere. Entrepreneurship is a management, right? So we are managing the things. We are managing the business entity where we are starting the business. Third part is validating learning. This is the important aspect of both uh, minimum viable product or the lean startup. We should validate our learning, right? And we should then build, we should measure and then learn and innovative accounting. So these five principles of lean startup, I will cover one by one in my subsequent slide. So entrepreneurs are everywhere, even in well-established forms. Entrepreneur is management, but different from managing the traditional form. Validating learning means whatever we are getting the feedback from the customer or about the customer, what customer want. Right. So what are the what, what are the need of the customer? What data we are actually capturing from the market or with the different segments of the customers? So now the strategy, uh, the organization, any business startup has to develop the strategies based upon the targeting, uh, targeting customers. Right. So if the company, if the company wants to, you know, target the high level, high category uh, customer, then company can design their business model and strategy according to the uh, requirement of the product which is to be delivered in which market and which segment of the customer. So this is an important aspect, what are our strategies, uh, what, what actually we want to deliver, what market segment we want to cover up. So these are the important aspects we need to uh, look into when we are going to start up, uh, lean startup. Third one is the feedback loop. It is very important we should build our strategy based upon the measurement which we are doing and incorporating the learning. So this feedback which is coming and we should incorporate all, uh, all the feedbacks which we which we are getting from the market. And last one is the innovative accounting means that should be the uh, actionable metrics mostly about the customer behavior. What customer will respond according to uh, uh, based upon our customer uh, based upon our product which is delivered to the customer. So these these all five principles which was given by Eric Rice in their business model, Lean Startup uh, book, right? So let me, let me uh, little bit uh, explain in detail about each of the principle. Principle one says that entrepreneurs everywhere. So we do not have to work for uh, or for launch a startup venture to be an entrepreneur. We do not have to work in the car, uh, garage to be in startup. Anywhere who works for the company that creates new product or services, under the condition of extreme uncertainty is an entrepreneur. The business owner, no, it is not like that. Entrepreneurs are everywhere. Everybody who is involved in running the business, in which context all persons are involved and in which context we are operating the business, this is entrepreneurship actually, right? So this is uh, first principle is entrepreneurs are everywhere. Second is entrepreneur is managed. So whenever we are launching a new product or a services, which is inherently risky, that is full of uncertainty. So managing that risk and uncertainty, this is the prime job of an entrepreneur. So entrepreneur is a management. This is a, we have to manage it. We have to manage the risk. We have to manage the uncertainty, right? So this, uh, whenever we are launching our new product and services, uh, this is a uh, principle number two. Principle number three says, validated learning. So startup exit, exit to learn how to build a sustainable business. This is important aspect. Ki whenever we are doing a business, we are building, we should build a sustainable business. So learning basically is a unit of progress, whichever we are learning, we are incorporating that learning through experiment. We are validating the learning through experiment. Basically validation of learning, it is a process. It is a process of testing each and every element in, of the vision to determine that our vision is sustainable. So any of the you know organization when uh, they they start their businesses, 
they start their businesses with some vision or some mission right so whenever we are learning that learning to be tested that is to be validated through experiment and that validation that should that should be linked with the actually vision which we are aspiring and so that we should be build our sustainable business principle number 4 says uh, build measure and learn the fundamental activity of the any startup is turn the ideas into product so we are getting the ideas some ideas are very innovative some ideas you know some ideas are at the primary level does not look to be innovative but when we work upon that the idea becomes with the value addition many of the ideas becomes innovative so measure how customer actually respond and learn whether to pivot or to preserve right so i will explain what is mean by pivot in my subsequent slide so all successful startup business should be geared toward accelerating this feedback loop what is our loop we should build we should measure and we should learn right so what is to be built we should convert ideas into product and uh, services we should measure how customer will respond and we should learn whether to pivot whether to stop it or whether to preserve it and principle number 5 says innovative accounting focused on defining measuring and communicating the uh, progress so that assumptions can be validated when we are doing any experiment we are assuming something uh, on the experimentation we should see that all the assumptions can be validated product or services move closer towards sustainability so this we should understand all these things that is that is completely an experiment practical approach of the lean startup so i'm summing up here accelerating build measure and learn that means we should building faster right we should learn we should ideation building product measure we are getting data and then learning and then again converting into idea this is the feedback loop so we should we should be able to building faster minimum viable product measuring faster that is customer licensing learning faster means we should have a customer advisory board and we should advise vanity metrics so this is a important aspect when we are talking about minimum viable product and the lean startup so the essence is we should build faster we should measure faster we should learn faster to convert ideas into useful product and services uh, for a sustainable business so this was uh, all about uh, our uh, lean startup a brief introduction about the lean startup any question uh, till now uh, feel free to ask me thank you so much sir it's really uh, very uh, well uh, i'm just i'm just asking uh, till now there is any question or should i proceed further okay uh, let me move further so next part is that minimum viable product so, I, so building a minimum viable product so what is that minimum uh, minimum viable product see in any of the product development cycle minimum viable product is a strategy which is used for fast and a quantitative market testing of the product or the product feature any of the product which we are uh, introducing in the market so there should be a quantitative market testing as well as we should check uh we should see that how product feature as per the market demand should be uh, given in the market so it is a iterative process okay we are doing continuously experimentation 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 it is a iterative process of idea generation we are doing prototyping we are testing presenting we are collecting the data we are analyzing the data we are learning the data and then we are incorporating all this learning into our product so that uh, it should meet the customer demand so let me let me uh, explain with as a, some example why this dropbox uh, more popular than other program with a similarity functioning well let us take a step back and then think about the sync problem when this dropbox was you know introduced uh, what the idea solution for it uh, we do that there would be a folder uh, we would put up stuff in it it would sync so initially when this uh, dropbox idea was came into picture right so there were a problem there was a syncing problem then it was it was you know uh, the customer based upon the customer requirement there was a thought that there should be a folder and we should put the stuff in it and it would sync so i just explained in my previous slide there is a there is a pivoting so any any a change to business model component based upon the customer feedback so this is a pivot actually right so we are changing the business model based upon the customer feedback pivot is not a failure 
basically it is a structure approach to design over a uh, uh, business model or to test over fundamental hypothesis about our strategy about our uh, product about our engine of growth so this is basically a pivot pivot we should not consider that it is bolded it is not a failure it is basically the the feedback which we are getting from the customer and we are now designing our business model based upon the customer requirement so when we talk about the total startup there are five types five six type of startup when we talk about there are lifestyle startup which is a great quality of life to its owner there are small business startup which is independently on and operated company with a limited number of people in the in the organization there are scale, scale up startup which is high growth so repeatedly and scale up business model there are viable uh, startup which achieves a return for the investor by the buy, buy out by a larger company social entrepreneurship startup there are many many types of startup basically all these startups right it is a it is a considered that 90% of the startup fail right because the startup fails because of the lack of the customer then from the failure of the product development so important is is whenever we are developing our product if we are not taking the input from the customer if we are not taking the feedback from the market and we are developing the product with, without incorporating all the feedback all the strategy which are which are coming from the market so this startups gets failed so basically the focus area is on the customers and the market on the day what our market demands what our customer need what are the need of need and want of the customer so if we all consider when we are designing our product or product cycle features uh, some experimentation learning that is to be incorporated in the business uh, model based upon the customer feedback and market requirement startup basically three types of market they deal with the three types of market we should know what are our market right important aspect for any business entity to understand what is our market one is that there is existing market you have we have a product we have a product faster and we have a product better right this is the existing market second is the resegmented market we have a niche product we have a niche product and we offer a low cost substitute to that particular market area and then there is a there is a new market so all product development cycle business model are based upon these three types of you know market right so new product means there is no existing demand for the new product but there could be in the future right so let me let me explain with uh, one of the example is that whenever we have seen uh, see uh, 20 30 years before we have seen uh, there was a you know black and white uh, tvs that was need of the customer to convert into uh, color tvs right so now uh, black and white tvs out of the you know market everybody buy color tv now there was a time when uh, with the tvs the remote was and you know that is demanding aspect now it has become the uh, integral part of the uh, uh, tv so the important aspect is that what customer is actually looking for customer is looking for these are the secondary requirements so whenever we buy a uh, tv from the market see uh, some you know speakers or uh, remote control it has become the secondary necessary demands for the customer so we need to design our product feature or the requirement based upon the customer demand so in order to remain in the business cycle so that is important aspect so means first of all we have to see the segment area of the customer which type of customer where is the customer whether it is a resegmented uh, part of this then we need to you know validate over uh, customer customer requirement then we have to see the pivoting pivoting i mean to say means uh, you have to pivot it you have to restrategize over business based upon the customer feedback these are the search phase when we talk about the execution phase we have to create a customer so customer creation then we have to stop it then we have to build it so building is based upon the learning unlearning validating experimentation so all this is the execution phase so we need to develop our customer for that we need to have a design thinking what our customer uh, require what are the customer requirements number 1 number 2 what are the market uh, requirement so what we should see we should learn about the audience for whom we are designing right for our product will serve to which, which type of customer which type of customer we are actually targeting to serve this is important aspect 
this we call it as a emphasize emphasize second part is we we need to construct a point of view that is based upon the customer needs and insight so we have to define all these things then based upon this definition we have to go for a brainstorming session we have to find out the creative solutions we have to find out the innovative ideas so that is ideate converting ideate into prototyping means we have to build a representation of that our idea uh, show to the others how this idea will look like when we convert into features then we have to real test return to our original user group and testing about your ideas for the feedback so this is the way this uh, this process actually uh, serves into the market this moves into the market or in the value chain in the in the complete uh, you know uh, right from the product development to the uh, goes into the marketplace so what is what is mvp now that means it is a minimum viable product is that version of the new product c which we allow the team to collect the maximum amount of validated learning about the customer with the least of all so means when we talk about the lean startup it means we have to put the least lean efforts we have to take learning about the customers we need to validate about that learning then based upon that we have to collect the maximum number of ideas convert that ideas into making a uh, version of the new product that is we call it as a mvp that is minimum viable product so that concept was given by eric rice why do we need an mvp because avoid building product that nobody wants maximize the learning per dollar spent get the fact before it is too late so visionary customer can fill the gap or the missing features some of the customer in the market are you know that they are looking into the you know automatic product when they talk about some solutions when you talk about say uh, i have seen because i i am working in the tractor industry since long so initially some some of the features were customer were you know minimum requirement about the tractor's demand now two days the demand is like that they uh, the tractor should have a maximum number of features that should be serve the purpose on a single tractor so i have seen that uh, uh, in in 2000 i have seen that there were two three features which actually uh, was required for the agriculture purposes nowadays in the tractor there are 30 40 features which customer is demanding so organization is continuously uh, taking the learning from from the customer then they are taking that learning validating into their research and development centers they are incorporating all the learning into uh, building uh, the ideas into uh, prototyping of the or testing of the product and they are uh, sending into the marketplace so basically all visionary customer can fit all these things but are the features are missing because technology is actually moving very fast so organizations or startup business or any of the organization they need to see that how fast they can deliver the product with the maximum feature which actually customer is demanding so allow us to achieve a big vision in small increments without going into the circle and don't get you know to continuously change the product as we learn from the market so this is that is why we need mvp actually so again i am uh, re uh, uh, stating this uh, concept first we need to create the idea we need to build the idea right into a useful uh, uh, you know conversion into the product once this is done we have to measure through testing through experimentation through through iterations then we are getting the data and then data we have to again experiment into the uh, field uh, scenario and then learning again that learning we have to convert into idea so this is a cycle which actually goes into uh, the lean startup and the mvp so some of the companies which i have explained there written as seven companies here which they have uh, they have designed their mvp strategies to you know uh, to to get into the marketplace first is uh, the explainer video so technical change uh, challenge of the getting dropbox of the ground was very huge you know when dropbox was initially introduced they have faced the many problems what are these problems they first of all creating a new market so file synchronization was a problem that most of the people did not know what they had actually high cost to execute the application file synchron synchronization between the multiple platforms that requires an army of the engineers most of the people were required to convert that synchronization 
and needed feedback from the customer if we can provide a superior customer experience will people give our product a try that is the question mark so dropbox created a simple video that demonstrated how file synchronization worked so it dropped hundred of thousand of the people on the website so you people know that everybody most of the people are now using dropbox very comfortably so uh, people uh, this they, they have created a very small many of the people you know uh, they are using dropbox very comfortably so this is basically we call it as a minimum viable product another is the landing page is a, is a classic example buffer is an app which allows us to queue social media post right so founder uh, the geo was a founder who faced a major question before building would anybody want to use it or not that was a question so he created a very simple land page if the people were interested they click the plans pricing and they were taken to the page directly asking them to leave their email address and then later they built the functionality and shorter after buffer had 500 users they started generating revenue from paying on it so many of the organizations they have they have taken the feedback from the customer converted that learning into the ideation ideation to building building into uh, the product and then testing experimentation and then uh, they have they are now the king in the market yes so there are many example jopas is again a online clothing store but initially they focused on shoes so the the founder nick they had a problem he wanted that online store but could not afford inventory so what he did he visited store he took the picture of the shoes only after he received the order he would be returned to the store or to purchase the shoes so they allowed the founder to validate the assumption with a little respect so this is very smart idea right so they adopted this idea and then they become successful so these all are the examples which actually uh, uh, four square is again a mobile application that allows your friend to know where you are and uh, for you to figure out where they are actually so the company begin with a very small idea of letting user check in to the social network with their location so that help company to focus resources on a specific feature to improve the experience for the customer that we know also whatsapp is also using the location features google is also using the location features where we are moving we are getting where the person is actually moving or where the person is actually there so this technology basically want that the need of the customer what are the market requirement people are converting that need into uh, their product so this is basically a startup lean startup and minimum viable product so thank you for this uh, two day session any question anyone want to ask feel free to ask please if there is no question should we log off i think that uh, your presentation was so nice so all have understand very well so right now they don't have any question but uh, all the faculty members please ask to your question because all are in the seminar hall so they cannot ask you directly but uh, faculty member if any student have a question so you can ask okay it is, it if, is important if, to get the feedback ma'am yeah yeah important very <laughs> feedback i will give you a feedback if student have any question then i will share with you and we will be very happy if you visit in our campus so in future we would like to invite you physically in our campus thank you very much sir you have given a very nice presentation and you have tried to explain very well and i hope that i i cannot say that all have understand but maybe few student have understand what you want to present them and what you want to tell them and basically we are focusing that how we can start our business how there is a innovation and how the entrepreneurship can be boost even our government is also uh, focusing on that and day by day i am also trying that from our students some students come out from and uh, tell me that they have any idea and we are here to support them so i wish that the student have understand about you if any question sure i will uh, message you and i will mail you about their questions so thank sure, you very any, much sir any of the students you know want to visit uh, osharpur plant please let me know so that i will show them r and d and complete mm -hmm. process which actually is going on uh, 
based upon the presentation which i have given to them no 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 i we will plan and we will plan that our because we have a engineering student polytechnic students also so we will definitely i will take a time from you and visit to your plant and uh, student have a industrial visit so they will get a opportunity both so thank you very much sir you are giving your precious time to us thank you ma'am thanks a lot thank you thank you sir